hello and welcome. I'm sitting here with Satish Kumar, who hello. started the, the um, Schumacher College, and I am Philip Francis, lecturing in holistic science at Schumacher College, and I want to introduce holistic science through a series of events called Process and Pilgrimage. And at the moment at the college, we have a course on quantum theory called um, Science, Spirit and Consciousness. And yesterday we heard this idea from Chris Clark, who was a professor of mathematics, about how in quantum theory the particle is engaged on a journey of which we can know nothing about. And on that journey, it, it finds a whole context for how, it, how its behaviour will be modified by that context until it meets a measurement. And it was talking about this notion of process in, in particles um, with Satish, that, that we came to the idea of process and pilgrimage, because Satish had a very similar idea about pilgrimage. That's right. <clears throat> pilgrimage is the word which is, you can say, a kind of poetic or spiritual word which is complementary to the word process, which is a more scientific word. Now, pilgrimage is uh, about journey. It's the inner journey as well as outer journey. Uh, journey is a metaphor as well as literal. So when you are in pilgrimage, you are not fixed. You are not rigid. You are not a kind of um, um, static. In pilgrimage, you are always moving, always changing. You are always evolving. And that's the idea of process as well. So how to remain fluid, flexible and not rigid and not fixed. That is the idea. So life itself becomes a pilgrimage if you are not too rigid in one opinion or one fixed idea. The truth is always evolving and life is evolving. And so pilgrimage is a, is a sort of evolution of consciousness. It can happen in a physical way when you are making a pilgrimage from A to B, but it can also uh, can be in a spiritual way when you are evolving from within. So that's the idea of pilgrimage. Yes, yeah, so holistic science is very much looking at this dynamic way the world unfolds when we let go of a fixed framework from which to understand it in a static way. And um, one thing we are doing is these series of events called Process and Pilgrimage, and they began in London in 2009 at Birkbeck College where David Bohm developed the idea of process and these events have evolved through through people joining the journey through people relishing being able to give up their fixed position of the work of, of the world and to meet in this kind of open framework where something is free to happen and so uh, one of the people who've joined is Ilan Pape who has developed this idea of a journey school which is looking at education through this notion of journey. And this um, May in Italy, May the 19th to 23rd, we are holding um, an event called Revival, Growing Health and Education in the Monk's Garden in Italy. And um, Satish will also be there. And also um, Satish's book, Earth Pilgrim, will be being... Um, presented in its Italian translation. That's right. So when we meet in Italy, we are going to uh, sort of approach this subject of process and pilgrimage from the point of view of education and health. And uh, health and education, these two words are also dynamic. Um, you cannot have a fixed, rigid, um, static state of health. Health is always evolving and changing. Um, in the same way, education is not something static, but it's always moving and, and, and evolving. So this way, we can have a, a pilgrimage in health and in education. And that way, how we can remain always open. Our minds are open. Our hearts are open. We are seeking truth without thinking that there's only one truth and that's a fixed truth and we can grasp the truth. The idea that truth is always evolving and changing uh, truth is dependent on its context and its uh, conditions and where it is and how it is. So without context, there is no truth. Truth is dependent on the context. And that is what we are going to explore in the field of health and education. 
And also um, the latest issue of the Holistic Science Journal is called Signatures of Health. And that is very much looking at this dynamic um, state of health which develops according to context. And um, Irun Cohen and Graham Jones are featured in this issue and they have developed this group of uh, 300 proteins in which you're able to read this dynamic relation of health to context and this way of looking at science not as something static that you can understand from a fixed position but as something dynamic that you can read directly from the world um, because all organisms are living in this dynamic relation to their context. This is something they've developed into this very unique test of health, which is moving from the current med medical paradigm of looking at the body as a static machine and introducing this dynamic notion of, of, of the body as responding to its context. And you can understand from the proteins whether that response is healthy one or is in some way disturbed. So what we're looking at in this dynamic process pilgrimage way of seeing the world is applicable to, um, in science to, to, to giving quite different solutions and suggestions about how one can approach health and well-being than conventional science. The Journal of Holistic Science uh, represents a new world view, a new paradigm. The old paradigm is where we say um, uh, biology and, and uh, ecology and chemistry and physics and, and even anthropology. Uh, all these sciences are separate, separate in different uh, compartments or departments. So this is, this is a kind of fragmentation and reductionism uh, in our education. Uh, in the universities. They think that uh, spirituality, arts, religion, science, these don't connect with each other. But in holistic science, um, everything is interrelated and interconnected. And how we put this all jigsaw puzzle together and make the big picture, whole picture, where science and arts and spirituality and humanity and nature and ecology, they are all interrelated. They are all part of one big picture. And Holistic Science Journal is on a continuous basis bringing that kind of integrated approach in the similar way as in process and pilgrimage events, in seminars, we come together face to face to explore these ideas in a holistic and interconnected manner. In the journal, we present these ideas in a written form so that people everywhere in the world, wherever you are, you can get these explorations and research from various holistic scientists, particularly from Schumacher College. So do look at the website, holisticsciencejournal.co.uk. You can find there some of the articles um, are freely available online. And you can also there um, find details of the process and pilgrimage in May. So thank you very much for your time and hope to see you soon. And I hope that either you are able to uh, come to Italy and join us in our exploration uh, on process and pilgrimage or you may be able to subscribe to Holistic Science Journal or both. Um, we look forward to getting in touch with you.